Welcome back. How many love songs do you know? Because a new app hopes to help you write your very own. Vinally says it's designed to match people through music. And Vinally founder Rachel Van Nortwick is with us this morning to tell us how it works. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So you've got us talking here in the newsroom. We're like, what an interesting idea. Tell us how you came up with Vinally and what is it about music that you think can actually make that love connection? Sure. So I have been a lifelong music fan. You were just talking about Lollapalooza. I actually went, this is dating myself, but I actually went to, um, you know, one of the first Lollapaloozas um, back when it used to tour with my, my best friend at the time. I uh, just love music. It's been a passion of mine. And, um, you know, fast forward to 2016, uh, I saw my friends and family struggling on traditional dating apps. And those same people were huge music fans. So I decided to create an app um, you know, that matched entirely based on music compatibility. Okay, which is so fascinating because we all do have music that we have in common. Some people maybe might say, I refuse to listen to this particular music. I don't like it at all. So how does it work? So, for example, does it say, okay, if you like Avril Lavigne, then we're going to put you with that group. Or if you like pop rock, we're going to put you with that. Sure. So, you know, um, there's a lot that goes into music compatibility. It's not just sort of one for one. You like this artist, I like this artist, or you like this song and you like this song. We take into account all of the influences, the shared influences that the bands that you like uh, have in common. And so you can either sync your Spotify uh, streaming history or you can use our profile generator. So we take that music data and then we also, also ask you a few questions about the role music plays in your life. So, you know, do you like to go see concerts a lot? Is music your favorite interest or is it an interest? Things like that. And then our algorithm produces matches based on that. Okay, very cool. So now let's talk success rate. Give me an example of maybe two people that you brought together and what is your success rate with this? So, you know, great story. Um, we had uh, two users who lived in the same city and they used to go to all of these concerts by themselves. Um, so they were each there at the same shows and never connected and then got on our app and, you know, discovered this and then, you know, uh, fairy tale ending, um, you know, uh, have, have been going to shows together ever since. So you know, just an interesting fact that you know you you can be um, you know in the sort of in the same have the same interests as someone and maybe never connect. So we're really happy that our app is able to do that. Do you think you have a higher success rate, or do you have any statistics on that? Yeah, we we actually just um, you know shared sort of our our year over year statistics that we like to we like to share on on Twitter or now X so people can go check that out for Vinally app. But um, yeah, in the last year, you know, I think we've had 30,000 matches, like 101 profile views. Okay. So we also have a higher retention rate than traditional dating apps. And I think that's just because, you know, our app is very, like a very positive experience. You're just, mm -hmm. you know, you're just talking about music, um, sharing, you know, your, your music stories with other people. So yeah, it's been really positive. Rachel Van Norwick, I love it again. The name is Vinally, which is so cute, kind of a play on Finally too. Very fun. What a great, fun idea. Appreciate you joining us this morning. Thanks for Thank your you time. Thank you so much. Yeah.